Hi makers, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra with Sierra's Crafty Creations and today I will be showing you a crochet tutorial on how to create this beautiful, squishy, soft, cozy, amazing three button cowl. So let's go ahead and jump into the materials needed to make one of these. So first things first, you're gonna need size six, super bulky yarn. I'm using Stitch and Studio by Nicole. I found this at AC Moore. And you're also going to need a 10 millimeter in crochet hook. Find three buttons that you like. I got these off Amazon. I'll link them below. And you also need scissors and a yarn needle. If you'd like to follow along with the written pattern, you can find the free pattern on my blog. I'll link that below as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the pattern, friends. All right. Grab your super bulky yarn, your 10 millimeter crochet hook, and we'll go ahead and jump into the stitches that you'll need to know. So we'll be chaining, single crochet, and double crocheting in this pattern. So if you need a refresher or if you're brand new to crocheting and you need to know how to do these three stitches, go ahead and follow the links below. I have a true beginner guide on these stitches so that you can go ahead and watch those first and then come back to this video so we can jump into the pattern. And for those of you that already know, we can go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And we're going to insert our hook and we're going to chain 23. All right, once we get our 23 chains, we're gonna go ahead and create our foundation row. This is worked flat in rows, so we'll be turning at the end of each row. So to start, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So this is the first chain and this is the second chain. So we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That creates a single crochet. And we're just gonna put a single crochet in every single chain all the way down and you should have a total of 22 single crochets at the very end. We've come to the very end of the row here and I wanted to show you this is the last stitch. We're gonna go ahead and work a single crochet in there. We're gonna chain one and turn our work. So we just created the foundation row. So to start the pattern, we're going to single crochet in the very first stitch right here. We're going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet in that very same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert a hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That creates our first little cluster and we're going to skip two stitches. So we're gonna skip one, two, and put a single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, and a double crochet in the very same stitch. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way down. So skip two, one, two, work in the next stitch, a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the same stitch. So keep following that until we get to the end and I'll meet you there. All right, we've come to the end. We're in the last three stitches. So we're going to skip two and then we're just gonna place a single crochet in that very last stitch. So just a single crochet. We're not gonna do a chain one or a double crochet, just a single crochet in the very last stitch. Then we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to work a single crochet in that very first stitch. Just a single crochet. And then we're going to go over here into this space, the chain one space right here. You can see this, this nice large opening. So we're going to insert our hook there into that opening. So underneath the stitches here, we're going to insert into the chain one, create a single crochet 
chain one and a double crochet in that same space. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the next chain one space. Right here, we're gonna insert our hook, single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the same space. And you're gonna keep doing that in all the chain ones across. All right, we've come to the last chain one space. We're gonna put our single crochet, chain one, and double crochet in that space. And then we're going to, in this last stitch here, we're gonna place a single crochet. So you're gonna start and end with a single crochet, single crochet from here on out. So we're gonna chain one and turn. And all the rows after this will be a repeat of the row we just did. So chain one and turn, start with a single crochet in the very first stitch, and then find your chain one space, and put your single crochet, chain one, and double crochet all in the same space. And you'll do that all the way to the end, and you'll end with a single crochet in the last stitch. See you there. All right, friends, are you getting the hang of it? Look how gorgeous it's already looking. So we just did three rows of our pattern stitch, and we're gonna keep going until we reach 60 rows, and then I'll meet you guys back here. So that last row that we just did, we're gonna keep repeating that until we get to 60 rows. So you're gonna wanna do 57 more of the rows that we just did. And I will meet you back when we reach 60, and we'll finish up this cow. See you. Welcome back, guys. We should be at our 60th row of the pattern. So we're going to finish up the cow now, and we're gonna do that by chaining one and turning, and we're gonna place a single crochet in every stitch and chain one space. So here's the chain one space, I'm gonna put a single crochet here, and then in the next two stitches, and then a single crochet in the chain one space again, and then the next two stitches. So we're gonna keep doing that all the way down, and you should and that's the end of the cow so we're just finish it off to create a more even edge and then we're going to grab our scissors cut it leave a little bit of a tail to sew in and tie off and that is our completed cow and I'm gonna show you how to fold it over so you're gonna have it like this you're gonna take one side and fold it inward and then you're gonna take the other side and lay it over top. So it looks like a little bit of a, it comes to a, a point. And then we are going to grab our buttons. These are the ones that I got from Amazon that I linked below. I three of them. These, fun thing about these buttons is they're double-sided. So you can pick your favorite side. For the gray, I'm going to use this side, I think. Yeah, I like this lighter and the fun little pattern. I like that more for the gray than the dark side. So we'll grab our three buttons and this is where you're gonna need your yarn needle. But the biggest thing about your yarn needle is you wanna make sure that it can go through your buttonholes. So this is a smaller yarn needle that I have and you just wanna double check that it will fit through the buttonhole. So go ahead and grab those things and we'll go ahead and attach the buttons. All right, and this is how it will lay. And so we want our buttons to come through and be on this side. So we're actually gonna fold this up a little bit and we're gonna attach our buttons on the bottom piece. And you can take the yarn that you're using to use, um, but since it's really bulky yarn, I'm gonna use crochet thread. So it comes in a spool like this. I'll link this down below too. And I just like to use this because it's thinner and it's just um, easier to work with for buttons for me personally. But you can use yarn that matches this, the same yarn, whatever your preference is. So you're going to go ahead and thread your needle with whatever you're using to tie on your buttons. All right, we got it threaded and I fold it over till the ends meet over here. And then I'm going to tie a knot that leaves a nice long tail like so. And I'm going to knot it again in the same place. And then I'm gonna use this as a reference. So I'm actually gonna start at the very bottom point and that's where I'm gonna place my first button. So 
here's our border and here's our edging right here. So I'm gonna take my button and put it right on the edge. You don't want it to be off, hanging off like this. So right about here, take my yarn from the back and insert it like so and pull it up. Make sure that those knots tug. Oop, look, mine pulled through. So I'm gonna do a third knot to make it more secure right in the same space there we go now we have a nice large knot so I'm gonna try that again all right that one's better all right and then I'm gonna go through the top and then through the back And I'm gonna do it one more time. So let me zoom in so you can see it a little better. So I'm gonna go in from the back. Pull up. And go from the front into the back. I'm just gonna do that twice. And I'm gonna take my scissors, cut, and then turn this backwards. And I'm going to just double knot it. And if you use the crochet thread, you don't really have to tie anything in because it's so thin. I just cut it as low as I can without cutting the knot. Like that. So it has just a little bit. And because that's the very back side of your work. And there's my very first button. And we didn't need to make buttonholes because of the stitch. As you can see, it already creates pretty big openings that we can put this button through. And we can do right here. Just like so. And then, again, this is, we just buttoned it up. So we're going to move it just a little bit. Let me zoom back out here for you. So this is the top piece laying over the bottom piece. I'm going to move it so I know where to place my second button. I'm going to fold it over and my third button will go at this very edge. So you can do your third button next. That way you know exactly where you want to put your second button. So I'm going to undo this. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I'm going to undo this here. All right, and I'm going to roll this back again. And this is where I want my third button because I want it right in this corner up here. So I'm going to put my button right here and I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to thread my needle and tie it on right there. All right, now we have our first and our third button. So then we can measure kind of where the halfway point would be. And then we can attach our button there you can count how many are in between. So we have three clusters in between each one. That will make it nice and spaced evenly. And you'll place that there and again, sew it on just like we did the first one. And then we will be ready to weave in the few ends that we have and we will be all done. All right, we got all three buttons sewn on and you want it to be close to the edge because we are going to button this over a little bit. So you can go in and find the larger openings and put your buttons through. All right. And so it will look like this. And you're gonna take your yarn needle and sew in these two ends. Just weave those in so they're all finished that's what the side will look like for you you'll have a little bit and you turned over you'll have a little bit of the edge hanging over it, and you do want that that way the buttons look nice and uniform and you have finished your cow congratulations guys I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy this super cozy squishy cow let me know in the comments how fast this one worked up for you 
And if you're selling them at markets, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Sierra's Crafty Creations. I'd love to see everything that you're working on. Thanks, guys. See you next time.